Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today I'll be showing you how to code your own audio player. This will be one of a series of tutorials ending in a really great product. The modules we'll be using for this tutorial are the Pygame and TK Inter modules and what will happen is the Pygame will be the source for the music and it will load and play the music and then the TK Inter app will form the GUI part of it where you can stop and play it, play it and you can see the name of the song etc. So if you're not familiar with the Pine Game module I will have documentation in the description below which you can click on and then access and you can see just what Pi Game can do for you. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is import the TK Inter and Pi Game modules. So import Pi Game, import TK Inter as TKR. I always import it as TKR. And then we are going to create our window where everything is going to fit into. And we do that by typing in uh, player, which will be the name of our window. And we call it um, tkr.tk. And that creates the main window where everything goes into. The next thing we need to do is specify the size and the title of the window. And we do that by typing player.title. And then we give it a nice title. I'm going to call it audio player. And then we specify the geometry by typing in player.geometry. Let's go back. There we go. And let's call it, um, is it 205 by 340? You can give it any size you want. And so the next thing we need to do is let's just skip the get song for the time being. Let's just create our sort of GUI interface using TK Inter first, and then we'll get back to doing the song. And so on that note, let's go to the register button. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create our play and stop buttons. And we do that by creating our buttons. And we do that by using tkr.button. And then we fit it into the player. And then uh, let me just load this here because that will mean it'll be better. And then we get a width and a height. And then we specify a text. And then what we do is we're going to associate a command to it. So the command is play. And what we'll do later on is we'll create a function that will, when you press the button, here when you press the register button an action will happen and then what we do is we call that button one button one and then what we have to do now is we have to so we've created it but we haven't actually put it into our um, player window and that's what we do with pack pack or grid and then way we do that is I'm going to be using grid button oh sorry I'm going to be using pack and we're going to fill it in the x direction so what that will do is that will stretch the button to fill the whole width of the window in player and then the next thing we're going to do is we do exactly the same thing but for button 2 so I'm just going to cheat a little bit and just copy the code I did below button 2 so let's make everything a bit more uniform. Play and exit play. Except with button two, our command will be different. So everything else for button two will be the same, except our command will be exit player rather than play. The next thing we need to do is we need to um, activate our TK our TK inter a sort of frame. And we do that by typing in player dot main loop. So that will actually make it run. So before we just built it and we put everything in it, but this activate actually makes it run and go. The next thing we need to do is we need to create our actions. So I'll be creating two functions here. And this is where our songs and our Pi game module will come into play. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our song and our song 
and we could call it file or song and we can call it song.mp3. Now you have to be careful with Pygame or and with this particular code is that um, it only plays um, certain song extensions. So it's worth just playing around and see what it can and can't do. And the next thing you do is we need to create our action event. So let's create the first one play. So okay, def play and then we're going to create play and so what we do is we first thing we need to do is we need to initiate pi game so we load it up and then we need to initiate the mixer within pi game and now we are ready to load our song and we do that by loading the file uh, pi game dot mixer dot music dot load and then file let's just do this and then this file has to equal this file here otherwise this won't work so what we've done here so far is we've just loaded the song into our function now we need to actually get it to play get it to do the play the playing so let us do that and we do that quite simply by typing in pygame.mixer.music.play so that will now play our song but that will play the song until the song stops so now we need a way of controlling the song so that we can stop it whenever we don't want to listen to the song anymore and we do that by creating by using our exit player function which we created for our button two and we simply type in pygame.mixer.music.stop and that will stop the music whenever we don't want to listen to the song anymore. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a way in which it will tell us what song is being played. And we do that by creating a label frame and then within the label frame we create a label with the name of the song. So how we create our label frame is we type in um, tkr.label frame. So let's call it label1 equals tkr.label frame. And we're putting the label frame in the player screen and then the text will be song name. So that is just simply how we're labeling our frame. But within the frame, we want to have the label of the, the name of the song. So we're going to type in, uh, and that we're going to call that contents one. But first, we need to pack the um, label frame into the player screen. Do that for typing in label one dot pack. And then let me just um, fill both expand yes and what will this will do is it will whatever is remaining after the button one and button two have gone in it will take up the rest of the space so it'll take up the all of the rows and all of the column space it will just fill everything so that's what fill both and expand yes does. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create our um, a text that says the name of the song. And we do that by typing in tkr.label dot capital label, capital L for label. And again, but this time, instead of putting it into the player frame, we put this into our label frame. So we're putting this into label one and then the label frame itself all goes into the player frame. So it kind of fits in nicely like a jigsaw. And then our um, text is equal to file. So our text will be equal to this file, which is the name of the song. So that's how that sort of neatly fits in there. And then firstly, and then we all got to pack it in. So after we've done all that, we pack it in dot pack 
And then that should be our code ready to run. So if we then press for you run it. Oh, what happened here? Our exit player is not defined at because of the exact name convention. Here we go. You see now that it's highlighted and then this play is good. So let's run it again. So this is the result of the first one. So this is the second one. So here, notice we've got our play, stop, and then the name of the song. So if I press play, you hear that? See, that was the, um, tra the intro, the tune to the intro that I have on the start of my um, YouTube channel. And so notice that when I press stop, the music stopped as well. So now we have some control over the song. So, and if we wanted to change the name of the song, so I have also got another song in there from Ozuna, who is a reggaeton artist. Don't judge. And then if I sort of exited this and then ran it up again, and then when I press play, you should hear the song. And when I press press stop, the song should stop. And notice here you have the name of the song. Notice that it's changed. So let's start, try again. See, notice that that has worked with a different song. So moving forwards, we're going to have multiple songs in here and you will be able to select the song from here and then maybe we'll work on a few other things and then we'll turn it to a really nice finished product so i hope you've enjoyed my tutorial um please do subscribe if you really liked it and don't forget to check out more of my videos thank you very much for watching <laughs>